Good morning, students. To me all for this wonderful session. In this session, I am going to teach the continuation of uh, chapter 11, network examples and protocols. In this session, we are going to discuss the contents of OSI model, OSI layers, TCP/IP, frequent TCP/IP protocols, the different layers of TCP/IP, other network protocols, network interface layer, network or internet layer, transport layer, or and, and finally application layer these are all the contents we are going to discuss today first we are going to see OSI model what is OSI model OSI is uh, it is nothing but open source interconnection or open system interconnection open system interconnection model and it was found in the year 1934 and this is for uh, it describes the standards for intercomputer connection it is going to describe how the network connection should be there that, that is what it is going to describe so in these different types of layers are there so now I'm going to explain the layers one by one this is the layers OSI layers from the bottom itself we have to read this one from the bottom itself we have to start this one first layer is a physical layer second layer is a data link layer third layer is network layer fourth one is transport layer fifth one is session layer sixth one is presentation layer seventh one is application layer if you get confusion to memorize these uh, OSI layers I will give a small uh, tactics to memorize these layers everywhere we have to start from our physical itself everywhere you go we have to start our physics itself so that first layer should be physical layer so now I'm going to give a small uh, tips to memorize this layer it should be starts with physics so that physical layer please do not touch sausage pizza anywhere please do not touch sausage pizza anywhere so if you memorize these tips very well you can uh, memorize these layers uh, very well seven layers very well in your mind so first layer should be physical layer second layer should be data link layer third layer should be network layer fourth layer should be transport layer fifth one is session layer sixth one is presentation layer and seventh one is application layer these are here they have to here you have to change as uh, protocols not TCP IP this should be this one should be comes as a uh, protocols these are all the protocols in the layer first two layers for uh, hardware uh, next five layers for software these are all the datagrams are called datagrams are nothing but uh, the messages should be converted as packets those packets are called as here in in uh, physical layer the packets are called as bits in uh, data link layer the packets are called as frame in network layer the, those packets are called packet and uh, the fourth layer in transport layer the packets are called uh, segment and for uh, the layer 5 6 and 7 the packets are called as upper layer data these are the protocols they have been used within the layer within application layer they have used I mean the protocol comes HTTP, SMTP, uh, IMAP, SNMP, POP3, FTP these are the protocols comes under uh, application layer TCP, UDP layer I mean protocols comes under transport layer uh, these are all the protocols used in OSI model these are all uh, OSI layers of I mean layers of OSI I already have given uh, tips to memorize these layers please do not touch sausage pizza anywhere so that you can easily understand the layers you can easily memorize the layers in your mind physical layer, data link layer, network layer, transport layer, session layer presentation layer and application layer I am going to explain one and one one by one <coughs> first one is a physical layer this is the first layer 
it defines the electrical and physical specifications of devices what are the devices should be there within a computer it, sh it should be described by physical layer next one is data link layer it is a second layer and it guarantees the data transmitted are free of errors the second layer is going to transmit the data what is the data you are going to send what are the data what are the data you are going to send from your computer to another computer uh, that should be transmitted by this layer only this layer has simple protocols like 802.3 for ethernet and 802.11 is for wi-fi and next one is network layer it is the third layer it is determining the path of the data packets network layer determines the path in this path only the packet should be go that packets i mean that path that way is determined by the network layer at this layer routing of data packets is found using ip address in this layer only ip address i mean ip protocol is there ip protocol helps the packets to reach the destination next one is transport layer it is the fourth layer it guarantees the transportation sending uh, sending uh, of data is successful it includes the error checking operation in transport layer the transport layer is also used to send the data send the data with checking options checking option is nothing uh, if your message has been not delivered properly that error message should be delivered to you that is what checking option and next one is session layer it is the fifth layer it identifies the established system session between the different network entities it controls dialogues between computers the session layer establishes the session between the computers that is what they are telling here next one is presentation layer it is the sixth layer it does the translation of data to the next layer uh, when you send the data it should be converted as a chipper text your plain text should be converted as a chipper text in the uh, transport layer after converting the plain text should be chipper text it should be convert as chipper text to plain text that process happens in that process happening in presentation layer i mean encryption decryption process occur in this layer only such as uh, secure socket layer with the help of the secure socket layer the encryption decryption process happening here only next one is application layer it is the seventh layer which acts as a as the interface between the user and the i mean uh, system and next one is tcp ip these are all the tcp ip layers these are all osi layers the first two layer in osi forms together they will be created as a new layer in tcp ip the first two layer physical layer and data link data link layer forms together and it it will be uh, formed as a new layer uh, formed as network access layer in tcp ip la uh, model and next one is network layer it should be known as here internet layer the network layer of osi should be known as internet layer in tcp ip model transport layer as it is in uh, uh, in tcp ip also the session layer presentation layer as well as application layer forms together as application layer in tcp ip model osi model has seven layers but tcp ip model has only four layers and uh, here we are going to see tcp ip transmission control protocol and internet protocol tcp ip has a set of protocols which governs the communication among all the computers the tcp ip only is going to governs the communication it is going to give the communication between the computers that the, the tcp ip tells how information should be packaged how the information should be splitted and how the information should be packaged how the information should be sent received as well as how to uh, go it, it it destination how to get do it destination these process uh, described by tcp ip 
only tcp working next one is tcp working tcp is a combination of two protocols tcp ip is a combination of two protocols one is transmission control protocol and next one is internet protocol the internet protocol typically specify the logistics of packets that are sent to our networks uh, with the help of the internet protocol because internet protocol helps the packets to reach its destination internet protocol has a header that header is formed as a 8 bit header in this header two different packets are there two different segment is there one segment contains the source ip address if you are sending a message to your friend that message is split as number of packets in that packet first two has ip address of the source as well as the destination first one be first one will be contains your ip address second one contain will be the destination your friend system address and next things i mean next packets are your messages and next one is the transmission control um, protocol is accountable for guaranteeing the uh, guaranteeing to uh, sending the data transmission of data it is a reliable layer i mean it is a reliable protocol tcp transmission control protocol is a reliable protocol it has checksum option also uh, if there is any a uh, problem to reach the data to transmit the data from your computer to the destination computer that will also governed by tcp ip i mean tcp uh, protocol i mean uh, transmission control protocol and next one is frequent tcp ip protocols uh, these three protocols only uh, going to uh, use frequently in tcp ip http https ftp http it is uh, used between a web client and a web browser and a web server and it guarantees a non secure tra data transmission if you searched anything in uh, website after uh, getting the information if you have ever watched uh, on top of the search engine uh, it should start uh, http and after that double say, colon after that slash after that www dot it should start like this the http is hypertext transfer protocol I already have learned in 11th standard it is a protocol it acts as a interface between the web client i mean web client is nothing we are the web client and web server it acts as a interface i mean between the web client it acts as a mediator between the web client between uh, us and the web server and it Uh, guarantees a non secure data transmission and next one is https it is also just like as uh, or it is also very similar to http but it gives a secure data transmission and next one is ftp it is used between computers ftp is file transfer protocol http is uh, hypertext transfer protocol secure ftp is file transfer protocol it is used between computers for sending and receiving the messages or file and next one is domain names and tcp ip addresses it is very difficult to uh, memorize the ip address of any website ip address always uh, always start with uh, 2216.58.216.164 and this is the ip address for google search engine it is very difficult to uh what memorize of any website that's why they have created domain name for each and every specific ip address so instead of uh, using ip address we can use domain name domain name is nothing www.google.com it is very easy to memorize but uh, it is very difficult to memorize the ip address of uh, google search engine 216.58.216.164 it is very difficult that's why they have created domain name
and next one is different layer different layers of uh, tcp ip uh, network access layer or network interface layer internet layer or network layer transport layer and application layer next one we are going to see other network protocols ip already i have explained you ip which is used to uh, send the packets from the host source host to destination host next one is address resolution protocol arp address resolution protocol this address resolution protocol which is used to send the uh, message from one machine to another machine next one is the reverse address resolution protocol these things i can explain at the end of this session and next one is uh, i'm going to explain uh, layers of uh, tcp ip model layers of tcp ip model i'm going to explain these are the layers of tcp ip first one should be known as uh, network interface layer or network access layer the second one known as network layer or internet layer the third one known as uh, transport layer the fifth one i mean uh, the fourth one known as application layer these are the protocols used in each and every layers first one we are going to see network interface layer it is the bottommost layer of tcp ip model it is comparable to that of uh, open system interconnection the physical layer as well as the data link layer forms together formed as a network interface layer or network access layer in tcp ip model it has these protocols ethernet token ring other link layer protocols ethernet ethernet and token rings are for uh, local area network connection and frame relay x 2.5 these protocols are for uh, wide area network and atm is also the one, one of the protocols of uh, in network interface layer that is also used for uh, wide area network connection atm uh, stands for asynchronous transfer mode next one is internet layer or network layer it is the layer where the data is addressed packaged and routed among network and in this layer only the data is addressed data is addressed is nothing but where the data has been transmitted where the data has, has to be transfer and the data has been uh, splitted as different packages and how the data has to reach its destination these process happening in network layer or internet layer only it contains uh, different uh, protocols ip arp icmp igmp rarp these are all uh, uh protocols of uh, network layer ip internet protocol and uh, it is used to deliver the packets from the host uh, i mean source uh, source host to destination host next one is address resolution protocol i ha i have explained already and uh, I, i will explain this address resolution protocol as well as the uh, rarp rarp Uh, at this end uh, at the end of this session and next one is uh, icmp internet control message protocol and it is used by network devices network devices are nothing but the devices which are all used to pass or transfer the message from one uh, system to another system those devices are known as network devices those devices are uh, hub switch hub switch and uh, A router these are all called network devices these are all used by network devices to send error messages and operational information and uh, the help of i mean the use of the internet control message protocol is which is used to uh, sending any error message if the transmitted package is not reach its its destination at the time an error message will be transmitted by this uh, protocol internet con control message protocol next one is internet group management protocol it is a communication protocol used by host and routers to send multicast 
the IGMP Internet Group Management Protocol, which is used to send multicast, multicast group communication. It is used to send many messages at the same time. Multiple messages uh, to uh, I mean IP addresses at once. It is used to send mail many messages to many IP addresses at a single click. That is what the use of IGMP. Next one is transport layer. These sessions are recognized as data packets are swapped between hosts in this layer. In this uh, layer, the data packets are swapped between hosts. The data packets are nothing but uh, what is the message, what are the message, what are the data you have sent that should be splitted as packets. So those packets swapped in this uh, layer, swapped in this layer between the host. The main protocols established at this, at this layer, the main protocols used in this layer is TCP UDP. TCP is a reliable one, uh, it provides reliable connection. The TCP transmission control protocol gives reliable connection between the host. Uh, it, it, uh, in this layer, if any error happens, if any mistake happens, that will send as, a, as an error message by this protocol, TCP protocol, I mean t transmission control protocol. It ensures delivery of uh, packets between the host. UDP, user datagram protocol, it is a unreliable, it is unreliable as well as uh, connectionless, that is connection oriented, TCP is connection oriented as well as reliable, UDP is connectionless as well as uh, unreliable. If there is any mistakes happen while sending the data under UDP, it will never send, a, uh, send an error message. Next one is... Uh, Application layer, it is the topmost layer of EU, uh, TCP IP. Uh, in this layer, it is very similar to session presentation and application layers of OSI reference model. So, already I have explained you session layer, presentation layer, and application layer forms together and formed as a new one as an application layer in TCP IP model. And in this layer, they have been used HTTP. FTP, FTP, Telnet, SMTP, not DMS, that is DNS, domain name space. So, already I have explained to you HTTP, it guarantees a non secure data transmission between web client as well as web server. FTP, which is used to sharing the file between computers. Telnet is for sending the message from one system to another system. SMTP simple mail transfer protocol this SMTP is used to sending the mail SMTP is used to sending the mail from uh, from your side to friend, your friend email so SMTP one of the most important protocol which is used or which is uh, used to provide email services and next one is domain name space domain name system not domain domain name space dns stands for domain name system it is refers to the host computer by using names rather than numbers instead of using ip address we can use domain name system which means uh, www.google.com www.yahoo.com like that so next one So, I think with this, the lesson is going to be end. So, students, I hope you all understand very well this uh, chapter very well. I hope you all understand uh, very well this chapter. So, that I would like to conclude this session. So, thank you all for watching the video. Thank you once again for watching the video. Keep on watching the video. Prepare well for the test. Thank you all.
So next one, I would like to explain address resolution protocol, reverse address resolution protocol, uh, ARP and RARP. These two protocols which is used to send the data as a packet one, as a packeted one. So, thank you all.